joint line. You can start at the lateral malleoli, find the joint line, the um, lateral tuberosity, uh, a lateral tubercle of the tibia, and then the fibular head will be just lateral to that. It is small, it is round, you can outline it, okay? This is a joint that we will assess in orthopedics and, and teach you how to, to see how much movement's going on there and that, okay? Very important joint for ankle plantar flexion, dorsiflexion motion, okay? Uh, not so much for knee flexion extension, more, more of a um, ankle joint. To find the lateral malleolus, if it's not prominent enough for you, you can follow from the fibular head down the fibular shaft into the lateral malleolus, the medial malleolus. You can start at the tibial tuberosity, follow down the tibia and come medially onto the medial malleoli. So it's just one continuous bone, so you should be able to follow it all the way up and down the length. So definitely start to assess the outline of the tibia and find the medial malleolus. Same thing with the fibula, you can start the fibula head, outline the fibula all the way down until you get to the lateral malleolus, okay? All right. For the sustentacum tail, I'm gonna switch feet here. First off, just, just the calcaneus in general, you can follow the Achilles tendon to its insertion in the posterior Achilles um, into the calcaneus, I should say. They have um, medial and lateral tubercles on the calcaneus. Medially, <coughs> gonna find that overriding ridge of bone, which actually I think Yep, it's actually way up there. That's it, right there, the sustentacular tail. I and mean, this is gonna be the calcaneus right there, okay? So you just gotta find that ridge of bone. The other thing is, in, in a few moments, we're gonna see that the um, tendons of the tibialis posterior flexihalis longus all run, run in that area, okay? The tailor heads, okay? We're talking about the anterior talus. Actually, the foot needs to be in an open pack position. And what you're gonna do is just inferior and slightly anterior to the malleoli, the medial and lateral malleoli. You're gonna place your fingers in that area right there. And what you're gonna do is when I evert the foot, the medial tailor head will push out into my finger. When I invert the foot, the lateral tailor head will push out into my finger, okay? In kinesiology, I think it is, you're gonna learn how to find um, subtalar joint neutral position, and that's what you're gonna be doing, is you're gonna be palpating both those heads, and you're gonna be invert and everting the foot until you find the point where both the medial and lateral tailor head seem about equal side to side within your fingers, and that's how you're gonna make a determination as to, I think that's where the subtalar joint's in its most neutral position. That's getting ahead of ourselves, but just showing you that something like this will be clinically useful and something that you'll have to know later on down the line. So just, just that's why you want to get good at that. Okay. The navicular itself is on the medial side. It is the next most um, anterior bone to the calcaneus and the talus. It is um, identified through the navicular tuberosity. Very prominent little outgrowth of bone there on the medial side of your foot. And so once you're on the navicular tuberosity, then you can start to feel and outline the entire navicular bone on the person. You may feel the joint line between the talus and the navicular, as well as the first cuneiform and the navicular to outline the shape of the navicular, and that's gonna be, be that right there, okay? So those are the bony palpations you have to do.